In this video, I want to walk you through our Kingdom Messenger Notion template. This is something we normally only give to our paid members, but today we're going to give it to you for free. It's one of those apps that I use multiple times a day for business, for uh, projects and just general note taking. Uh, and so I think it's one of the most powerful and flexible tools out there to help organize creative ideas. Today, I'll just be showing you a few of those features that you can use to better organize your kingdom content with Notion. Let's jump in. I like to think of Notion as a blank slate. It's like picking up a notebook. Uh, people ask, how do you use it? What templates do you use? Honestly, you can use Notion a hundred different ways. And if you go on YouTube, you will find so many different tutorials and free templates out there. And so what I'll show you today is just a few of those features that I think are kind of key for uh, Kingdom content. So at the top, I can add a title for my page. And then here I can just start typing. So I'm just gonna put some text in there and maybe I'll say like, this is my uh, heading. And if I select this text, you'll see that I can format it a number of different ways. And as you type, you can do things like hit a dash and then hit space, and it will automatically create a bullet list for you. Or if you type a one, a period, and then space, it'll start creating a list for you. So a lot of cool little things uh, that I feel just helps get out of the way and let you focus on content and just enough formatting to help you get your ideas and lay it out uh, the way you want. So when you start a new document, you can just start typing notes like we were doing above. Or uh, if you go down here, you can see that there's actually a database option. And this is a very powerful tool in Notion. So you can click on table. So now inside this document, you can now have sort of an infinite amount of rows that all kind of match the same type of content. So I may say here, this is my uh, first note. And this right here is uh, my second note and now what it's done is each one of these uh, is now its own document so i can click open and it creates uh, a document here where i can start typing again or even make another database inside that so it's sort of infinitely scalable this is very helpful when you're managing content for your kingdom channel you can have uh, an episode uh, be here on each row and so you may have the title in this column, you may have the date you wanna publish it, the description and so forth, and then you would repeat that infinitely for every episode. So to save you some time, we've created a template for you that you can just duplicate and start using inside a Notion. So in the far left column, we have a publish date, and this just allows us to set the date that we plan to publish this episode. Uh, next over, we have the title, so we can set what is gonna show up as the title for the video. Uh, then we have a season selector. So if you wanted to organize uh, their content in seasons, that would be where you organize that. And then we have a thumbnail column where you can set the text that will appear in the graphic uh, for your thumbnail for your content. And then lastly, we have just a place for you to put a link uh, if you wanted to uh, just be able to link to the video on YouTube or Facebook. Uh, that's just helpful when you come back uh, maybe in a couple weeks or in a few months and you want to just jump right to that episode. You can just click on the link and it takes you right over to YouTube to watch it. So we can go into a specific episode by clicking this open button and then we'll be looking at the document uh, that is contained in this row. So here I have listed out a place for a video description. So you can use this in every episode moving forward uh, where you can write out the description that will show up you know, in YouTube or Facebook. And that way you can put it in here once and then copy this and just paste it into each platform. This is a huge time saver instead of having to manually write that out every single time. And here we have a place where we have links to stay connected to our Kingdom channel. Uh, you can link out to your Anchor URL, you can link out to your YouTube channel link to your Facebook page and even link to your Instagram. We create these links once and then we copy them and paste them at the bottom of every video. So I have added them to our template here and then that way when I create a new episode, they're already added to the description uh, each time. If you keep scrolling down here, I've got a place to put the script. And so this is where you could actually outline or write out the script you wanna use for your episode. Uh, so it just helps keep everything contained in this nice uh, document. Everything that's related to this episode is right here and I can keep it organized. 
So one of the cool things about Notion is that you can actually view this content in a number of different ways. So here we're looking at it, sort of a spreadsheet table view. You can come up here to the top left and choose a calendar view, click on that. And now you can see that each of these episodes are actually placed on a calendar and you can drag these uh, to the Tuesday, you can drag it back to Monday. And again, you can click into this and just open it up right there and see the entire document for that episode. And you'll notice when I change this to the 5th, if I go back to the table view, so it's actually changed this to October 5th. And that's because the calendar here is listing out uh, the publish date as that reference. So as you drag things around, it just updates that field. So if you're like me and you like to have things a little more visual and lay them out on a calendar, this will just be helpful so you can see uh, when content will be going live. So when you're ready to create a new episode, you can actually go to the top right here and click new, and this will just create a blank document. Or if you click the drop down here, we've actually created a new episode template. So if I click new episode template, that will actually take a second and it will pull uh, a checklist in, it will pull a description here, and it will even pull in your links for your episode and then a place for your script. So you can just hit that new uh, episode template and it'll bring all this in. And this is an interactive checklist here as well where you can click on uh, these check boxes and actually mark these different items as complete. If you have done one of our Kingdom Messenger workshops, you'll remember that this is one of our go live checklists that we use every time we produce content. Okay, so how do you get access to this template? I've added a link uh, in the description below of this video and you can click on that and then you will see a screen that looks like this. And this will allow you to put your email address in, so I'll add that now. So you'll be taken to this page, where if you go now to the very top right, you will see there is a duplicate button. You can click on that, and then simply create a new Notion account, and then you can start using the template. So I hope this template is helpful for you as you begin to organize the content for your Kingdom channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I hope you have an awesome day and we'll see you in the next video.